Hey everyone, this is Ron Grover with Go Engineer, and welcome to this What's New in SOLIDWORKS Visualize 2019 video. Working with materials and textures can be one of the biggest challenges in creating realistic images. And, due to the way they work, maintaining consistency across different applications has been problematic. With 2019, SOLIDWORKS Visualize has introduced the ability to use NVIDIA Material Definition Language, or MDL, and Physically Based Rendering, or PBR, materials, which means that the challenges of creating and using materials while maintaining interoperability is a thing of the past. Both MDL and PBR materials can be downloaded from the web and used directly in your Visualize projects. NVIDIA's vMaterials library, which contains hundreds of predefined MDL materials, can be freely downloaded from the NVIDIA website. PBR materials can also be downloaded from many different websites, such as Polygon, and used in your projects as well. You can use any mix of MDL and PBR materials to help your scene look just right. Visualize also has a live link with Algorithmic Substance Designer for advanced material programming. All of this gives you access to thousands of predefined materials and textures, which will speed up scene preparation and get you rendering faster. This year, our team here at Go Engineer decided to build a flying saucer based on an actual declassified government project. The goal of the project was not only to make it work, but also make it look realistic. Using MDL and PBR materials, along with a few other visualized tricks, the results turned out pretty convincing. Let's take a quick look at how to use MDL and PBR materials. After downloading the NVIDIA vMaterials library and browsing through the material categories, I have selected one that I think will work for the top panels of the saucer. To use the material, you simply drag and drop it from the Windows Explorer onto the part or surface you want to apply it to and visualize. If the MDL material has multiple texture maps associated with it, they will automatically be loaded into the appearances palette and are available to use. I have also found a PBR material I think would be good for the engine cover panels. The process to use a PBR material is also a drag and drop from Windows Explorer. When the material is dropped, Visualize displays a prompt asking what part of the appearance the image represents. Alternately, I can create a new blank appearance in Visualize and assign the PBR textures to the appearance. Once the appearance is the way I like, it can be exported as a native SVAP file and shared with others. With the addition of support for MDL and PBR materials, Visualize 2019 helps you maintain consistency across applications and dramatically speeds up scene preparation. And with access to thousands of professional predefined appearances and textures, it's easier than ever to create realistic images to wow your audience. I'm Ron Grover with Go Engineer, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.